Um, a lot of accidents with people just, you know, slipping and completely messing themselves up. Bicycles have to obey traffic laws too. Well, in the Netherlands, we got a load of bicycle paths. There's loads of cycling paths. Uh, but obviously, uh, cyclists don't necessarily care that much about traffic laws, no. You would have bought one if it wasn't living in an apartment? Nowhere to store it? Well, that's what a lot of people do in the cities, right? So lots of people in the Netherlands... I know this makes it sound crazy, but they purposefully don't own a car and own an electric bike instead. <laughs> because you can park them everywhere. They're very cheap to charge. Very cheap to keep and to store. And they get you places much faster than a car would. Mm -mm. In the Netherlands, you'll see many people like... Uh, going to work on a bicycle. Yes. Plenty of guys fully suited up. Riding a bike to work. I can imagine in some other places that is uh, not something you would see. Although suits are not that common anymore. What? Okay. Uh, transportation. Public transportation provides your citizens and tourists with alternatives to private car use. This is usually bait, man. I need to set this up ASAP because I never do and I should. I never set this up in my previous playthroughs of City Skylines early enough. And then later on, it's really hard to actually set up still. I also ride... Yeah, I drive my car way more than I ride a bicycle. Maybe I'm a fake Dutchman, guys. I much prefer my car over riding a bike. But there are, like... I think for a lot of people in the Netherlands, this may be a bit of a misconception for people outside of the, uh, the Netherlands or something. Like, bicycles are very common, yes, but it's not necessarily because people like bicycles so much. It's mostly that it's just... It is just far easier to... Not even taking into account, like, more than half of all daily trips were less than three miles in 2021. Yeah. And I think, I think these trips, in the Netherlands at least, are mostly done by bicycle, rather than by car. Because three miles is not that much. But city planning is complete. The Netherlands seems to be pretty good at it, though. There's this YouTube channel called um, Not Just Bikes. And he makes a lot of great... This train station has no business being this good. Uh, this train station has no business being this good. Even small towns are great here. I watched a little bit of this. All right, let's watch a small little part of this, guys. I think I'm gonna mute the game, though. I don't wanna watch the full 18 minutes of this, because it's kinda long, but... Sound like a broken record here. We've lived in the Netherlands for five years now, and during that time, we've been to many different cities. This is very Dutch. This, this immediately looks very Dutch. ...cities and towns. Now, obviously I talk about Amsterdam a lot on this channel because that's the city I live in, but I routinely show clips from other places that I've been to in the country. These cars. These cars are very popular now in the cities. There's another one right over there. From what I understand, they look hilarious to people. Yeah, outside of the Netherlands. The way people use these things is they park them generally sideways. No, those are not senior cars. From what I understand, many of them don't... I don't know exactly how this works, but they, they, they go so slow that they don't technically need like a license plate or something. I'm not exactly sure. They're, they're pretty expensive too. They're like 15,000. They're like, you know, they're like cars level of expensive. You can, you can buy a, a decent car for, for, for that level of money. Uh, but people don't take them outside of the city. Yeah, they're like scooters with four wheels, basically. Tree. So that solves the weather problem. A lot of the time, I didn't go to these places specifically. They're, they're, it's a closed up electrical bike. Yeah to film them they were just some of the places i had to go <laughs> because i was going to an appointment or visiting friends or just living my life and while i grabbed a few video clips here and there i never collected enough footage to make a complete video about any of these places especially in the early days but a lot of these places are really interesting and i think you'll find them so interesting. This, this is basically any road in the netherlands this is like 95 percent of places you go inside of towns will have a uh... 
So this is over here would be like for the cars and this would be for bicycles. So all of the or, or all of the red-ish paths are dedicated to bicycles. Two, because one of the things that really honestly just blew me away after moving to the Netherlands is just how good things are pretty much everywhere. I've never lived outside the Netherlands, so I, I take a lot of this shit for granted. When we got to I, I take a lot of this shit. I take a lot of this shit for For granted. When we a lot of this for granted. When we got to the Netherlands, we tried to get out of the city as much as possible to get to know our new country. Before I had a YouTube channel, I used to take photos or videos of things I found interesting, and it's really funny to look back on a lot of what so, I thought. So, I, I mean, I talked about it recently, right? But imagine having your Ford F-150 going down this road. It just, it doesn't work. It, it doesn't, you can't. <laughs> what was worth filming. Most of these videos are too short as they were never meant to be posted to YouTube, so you'll have to excuse me if I have to loop some of them. So anyway, let's begin. We have visited the city of Harlem several times, both before moving to the Netherlands and after, as it's an easy trip from Amsterdam by train. Visiting Harlem for the first time Harlem was awesome. a really eye-opening experience for yeah. me, as it was the first time I realized that even a city of about 160,000 people could be really active and lively, and I talked about that in the first, video, very first video on this channel. Yeah. My hometown has over three times the population, and you'd need a 50-car pileup to see this many people outside of their cars at one time. This is entirely because of the design of Harlem and its pedestrianized city center. I took our kids to Leiden to visit the Natural History Museum again. Hey, that's where I went a couple of weeks ago. Really easy to access by train and a short walk. I've never been. It's awesome. It's this is really literally nice. the only video I took of Leiden. This crosswalk. This amazed me because it was such a safe crossing, where the street was narrowed with this big pedestrian island. Oh. I like I like how he says it's such a safe crossing, as that guy on the on the moped almost got hit by a bus. <laughs> let's let's look at the guy on the moped again. I feel like he almost died. This amazed there he goes. me because it was such a safe crossing, where Whoop. the street was narrowed <laughs> okay, with this big bad. pedestrian island. Oh, okay. I was clearly easily impressed in those early days, but seriously, this would not exist in any city this size in Canada, and that's really sad, right? I did a similar thing in the town of Harlingen, where the only video I took was this one. Again, of a safe crosswalk. In this case... <laughs> I love that this guy's out there taking videos of crosswalks. That's so funny to me. Like, I never think about crosswalks. No. <clears throat> Anyways, we don't have any of that going in my city. You want to keep watching? These are just little, like, little bits of video. I watched the, the one that I quite liked, actually. It was this one. This train station has no business being this city. I watched the, the one that I quite liked, actually. It was this one. This train station has no business being this good. Apparently, they redid an entire train station. In way too many countries with terrible public transport. Um, he shows at some point what it used to be like and how they... Re uh, let's see. Okay, well, I guess we'll start over here. This station is so right over here. This station is so ridiculously nice. The first time I came here, I just wandered around going, wow, look at this and this and that over there. Oh, wow. This country never ceases to amaze me. But okay, okay. I'll get into all these great things in a minute. Just let me give you some context first. This is Zeist, with a population of about 65,000 people. His, his pronunciation is pretty good. He, he, he tries really hard to pronounce A. I know it sounds almost identical, but he, he's, yeah, he's getting better. If you watch some of his first videos... And this is Drieberge, a town of about 19,000 people. And this is the Drieberge Zeist train station, located between the two of them. There's something beautiful about hearing... Native English speakers pronounce Dutch names. I really like it. It sounds really cute. Driebergen Zeist. That's, that's how it would be pronounced, but... <laughs> There's been a train station in this location since the mid-1800s, but it was a relatively unremarkable station in the middle of nowhere. It was just a stop on the way to somewhere else. 
This station didn't know where it was. First, it was just called Drieberge, uh, then Zeiss Drieberge, uh, then back to Drieberge, and finally to its current name of Drieberge Zeist. The station became famous in the 1950s as the coffee station, where a whole family would come out to sell coffee to the entire train at once, aiming to serve everyone before the train left again. Passagiers die geregeld op deze lijn reizen weten al welke ontvangst hun te wachten staat. De koffiefamilie heeft er een eigen systeem voor. Ze regelt het zo dat ze de hele trein in één keer kan bedienen. And then apparently everyone would just chuck their coffee cups out the window, <laughs> yeah. uh, giving a job to this guy who had to go along the tracks to yeah, clean them all up. Yeah, creating jobs! I can confidently say that I have never seen anyone throw their garbage out of a train here, but I was also never offered any coffee on the platform either. Nowadays, Drieberge Zeist should be known as the best small train station in the Netherlands because I'm pretty sure it is. The station was newly renovated and opened in May of 2020, but it kind of flew under everyone's radar because of the COVID lockdowns. Nobody cares that much about train stations in the Netherlands. That's kind of the thing. It doesn't fly under people's radars, but people don't talk about train stations. It's not like we go to like a birthday party in the Netherlands and talk about train stations. It's not what, there's no way. The previous station layout here was pretty bad. There was a busy level crossing right on the main road into town. And get this. This level crossing was active for 20 minutes out of every hour, <laughs> which is wild. You can hear the level crossing sound constantly Fun. going off in this video of the old station. By the way, thanks to Cab View Holland for being clairvoyant enough to film the whole station right before construction started and for letting me use his video. He puts out lots of videos that show a train driver's view of the Netherlands, yeah, and they're really interesting, especially if you're a fan of railways. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. The old level crossing situation was a pain for drivers, of course, but there were also plans to send 11 trains per hour per direction through this area, and there's no way they could get that kind of volume through a level crossing. Now, the station is at ground level across a 140 meter span, and the area under was dug out to fit everything else. For example, the road now goes under the station, which makes the whole area significantly safer and more efficient for everyone. This station is very well serviced by trains. Six trains per hour per direction stop here, despite the combined population of the region being Wanted under 100,000 people. <laughs> and there are now four tracks here as well, so express trains can pass stopping trains. That's a German train! Eine Deutsche! The construction of the new Drieberge Zeiss station was crazy. They built I guess that's kind of the thing about the Netherlands, right? Like, there's a lot of money available for infrastructure projects like this. Like, I don't know how much it would cost to redo all of this, to lift the entire train station, to reroute all trains in the meantime, all other traffic, make sure that there's like an underground parking for, for bicycles, there's an area as well for like buses and everything. This, this must cost an absurd amount of money. And I guess organizing it is a really large amount of work. Yeah, about $2,000 in city skylines. At least $10, yeah. Temporary Where does the money come from? Yeah, yeah, tulips. We sell tulips to... Uh, other countries and uh, that's where it comes from. Station ...and kept it open to trains almost the entire time. The longest downtime was a 16-day period where 750 people worked in shifts 24 hours a day so that two and a half months of work could be compressed into about two weeks. Nice. The planning that was needed to pull this off must have been epic. Now, there are some as really I mentioned, Drieberge Zeiss Station is not really in... I don't know, I, I guess those are, what, what would be the job description for people that design this sort of shit? I have no idea, but there are some really skilled description for people that design this sort of shit. And this sort of shit. Sort of, I have no idea, but there are some really skilled people that work on this sort of stuff in the Netherlands for sure. Berge or Zeist, it's in an area in the middle and surrounded by a lot of forests. Just a city and planner? This yeah, very like, lovely a, park like a too. civil engineer, I guess? This is not exactly yeah. an ideal location for a train station, which is why this station needs to have very good connections to the outside world. 
So this redesign makes Drieberge Zeist much more than just a local train station. It's now a transportation hub for the whole region. Of course, since this is the Netherlands, there's a beautiful and functional Of course, since this is the Netherlands, there's a beautiful and functional bicycle parking garage. This garage holds around 3000 bicycles. Look at how open, bright, and spacious this is. Bicycle despite garage, being baby. Under a train station. Oh, uh, just ignore the glare off the glass. I couldn't get a better angle of this, okay? Trust me, it's awesome. They built a beautiful one From in Amsterdam, actually. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll try and see if I can find it. This bicycle stable, you can also pick up the Ove Feet's rental bicycles, including these electric models. These are really handy in a location like this, where the train station is not in the center of the city, so longer distances may be required to get to and from the station by bicycle. And here's the best part of this garage. There's an elevator that literally... Yeah. So they have this area in, in Amsterdam where it's a completely built... This is under the water. So there's a... Um, like a... What do you call it? Like a thing going through the canals, right? Um, that ultimately leads to the North Sea. And this is built underwater. So this is just for bicycle parking. Which is kind of wild. So you can basically... Like the whole idea is to get rid of cars in the city and to allow people to take bicycles instead. So most of the bicycle parking is free. So these are like double layered. So you can basically park up top and then at the bottom too. And you can take these escalators to take your bicycle up and out. Um, this is like, this is the central station. This is the central station in Amsterdam. So this is like a proper project that took a very long time. Yeah. So this is where all of those tour boats, you know, like whenever you take like a like a boat tour in the Netherlands, this is usually where most of them start. So the idea is that people can take the bike instead. And most of them you can like you can rent the bicycle for for cheap as well. It is actually very cool. Yeah, they they, they really did do a pretty sick job. It really takes you from the bottom of the bicycle parking garage right up to platform level. <laughs> this is so great, man. This so wait, this is an elevator. Oh, yeah, it's an elevator taking the bicycle up to and from the station by bicycle. And here's the best part of this garage. There's an elevator that literally takes you from the bottom of the bicycle parking garage right up to platform level. <laughs> this is so great. And this country, I just... <laughs> I love it here. Is it that cool? I don't know. I also love what they did with the historical elements on the platform. You can see how they took the old platform roof refurbished it and elegantly integrated it into the new roof for the larger platform. Huh. It's a really nice attention to detail. The main entrance to the bicycle parking garage is right off this nice bicycle path that runs under the station. There's no road along this side of the station, so this is a really safe and pleasant place to cycle. Despite being underneath a train station, this place is very open and inviting, which is important for social safety. I love that this is always taken into consideration when the Dutch design infrastructure. This area under the tracks is very open and well lit, and the walls are curved to avoid the dingy tunnel feeling that you get from many other underpasses. There are multiple sets of stairs here, as well as an elevator to get up to the platform level. Underneath the stairs are some decorative rocks, as well as the Any Bicycles Parked Here Will Be Removed sign, which is surrounded by parked bicycles, Classic. as is typical in the Netherlands. Classic. There's also a small waiting Any room. Any parked bicycle gets removed. <laughs> There's bicycles there guaranteed. And they will get removed. But if, you, if you're lucky, they are just not removing the bicycles as you're there. Where yeah. you can sit if the weather is particularly cold and miserable. And there's a restaurant and a cafe, but sorry folks, it's not the 1950s anymore. You gotta get your own damn coffee. You can still get free water from the bottle refill station though. It's interesting to note that there are no fare gates at this station, which really surprised me because you see them at most stations in the Netherlands. Here, there's just a few ticket machines and a handful of places <laughs> to tap your OV chip card or credit card to pay for a ticket. The north side of the station connects very- So the trains are pretty pricey in the Netherlands though. This has been an issue, especially as of late. There's been a lot of discussion about that because they're trying to encourage train usage and public transport in general, but then it's fucking expensive. It could but then it's fucking fucking
then it's fucking expensive. It can usually be literally cheaper to take the car, so a lot of people are just not bothering. But there's a lot of companies that have like, so for example, this guy had like a business card when he checked in. So it's a lot of uh, businesses that will pay for public transport use. Um, and yeah, there's just a few ticket a lot of machines and have a handful of places to tap your Ove chip card or credit card to pay for a ticket. The north side of the station connects very nicely to this bus station where buses regularly come and go, connecting travelers to the surrounding region. I was surprised just how many buses come through this area and how many boarding areas there are too. That's one ugly How many, bus. you may ask? They've recently scaled down the size of buses of like the ones that don't get a lot of traffic, that don't have a lot of passengers. These new buses they use, they kind of just look like scaled up minivans or something. There are J, J bus platforms. I also enjoyed how this office building had its main entrance off the bicycle path and across from the bus station, instead of having it on the other side of a parking lot, like is so common in other cities. In fact, this whole bus station is immediately accessible from the train station without needing to cross any roads or parking lots. I love how well the Netherlands designs their train stations. So yeah, it's cool. It's cool for sure. Only problem is that it's very expensive for casual trips. A lot of students will get like this thing that gives them either like a car or they can travel for free. But if you're not on any sort of discount, you don't get any employer benefits or whatever, um, taking the train is not really something you would do very frequently. Nice. What's up, Sven? Hello, thank you very much for the 69 months. Very nice. Did the chat die? Hello? sub in a while thank you for the public transport in the Netherlands. yeah it's all a little bit funky but overall public transport in the Netherlands is pretty great okay so I didn't say I could... what no I don't want to bend pets Are you... oh you're gonna do it like that dish and everything it's all put the wires up put the wires up perfect <sighs> Fuck. Ah, there we go. Four lane highway, that's what you get. You get a bridge. Put on Luigi boy. Yeah, this might be an issue. People love going to my city. Because naturally they do. How well do you think your girlfriend would fare in this game? She would do a much more organized job than me. She would probably still be in the very first phase though. As soon as she unlocked the uh, decorations. It would be something that looks much nicer. But up up land. Yeah, let me just go out and buy. Let's see. Right? Yes, there we are. Maybe I can make this my little... So, how much... Put a bunch... Whoa, there they go! Big. One is 729. Coal one is 40? Oh, we Shark is well... F oh, is my thing done? Can I... Can I get... It's not empty. Fucking empty it. Oh, sorry. F right, that road. Why are you not empty? I'll explain. Whoa, whoa, Don. You watching me play this makes you wonder why you support my stream? Kinda toxic, but fair. You're just jealous you don't live in Locopia, man. Or... Roads. Uh, no. That was... Be careful, I don't... Whoa, 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 whoa! Minus six! Minus 16?! What's happening right now? I'm creating a heaven on earth. Okay, I gotta... She is sorry she ever... Speaking of my... Really nice. But overall... Speaking of mistakes, today for the first time ever, my wife apologized. She said she is sorry she ever married me. Lol. Oof. Yikes. Hope that was a joke. Three dollars? Thank you for the three dollars. That may be a life update. Yeah, it could be. Okay, so it is empty. That's good. This is actual on and off. More space. Hopefully increased traffic flow. Dollars in game. We're here to fill out if I want. Thousand dollars in game. How do you cash out? You can cash out this or specialization recycling. Outsmart a cop. They do look happy, yeah.
years, and his words were fucking finally. Raikkonen won his last race after not winning in like six years. Really? <laughs> what does Kimmy do these days? I should definitely do some parks. Yeah, whatever the fuck he wants. You're probably right. I did see the aftermath of the Qatar race. Yeah. The Qatar race seems like a horrible idea. I mean, normally Qatar is a lovely place for sports, of course. No, no drama, no controversy whatsoever. One of the greatest sports locations in the world. But, um, yeah, the Formula One race there in uh, early October did not seem like a great idea. Basically, um, yo, Tassathur. Happy birthday, Loco. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Finally, somebody remembered. Thank you for the 53 months. Tier 3 resub. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Um, one of the guys, I actually got Oh yeah, appreciate you. One of the guys, I actually got a lot of respect for him. Um, he's uh, pretty much the worst driver on the grid. But Sergeant, Logan Sergeant, basically decided, yo guys, I'm done. Because if I continue driving, I'm going to faint. And apparently, I think it was, was it Alba? Who reported, like it was so hot during that race that he reported he puked for like two laps straight into his helmet. And then he continued driving out the race because obviously that's kind of gross. Driving out the race because obviously he, you know, felt like he needed to. That's kind of gross. That's kind of messed up. Stroll reported that apparently he basically passed out every single time in a turn ever since like lap 18 and I think they had to drive like 57 laps or something like that because it was too hot so these guys are going like 300 kilometers an hour plus like 250 miles or some shit like 250 miles or some shit or some shit Or These guys are going incredibly fast through corners, pulling an insane amount of G. And yeah, they uh, are apparently all lightheaded, basically passed out, all kinds of messed up stuff. It's all very concerning, yes, but money, that's true. So they made it a night race. From what I understand, back in 2021, they did a race over there too, but they did it in December, or at least later on into the season. Even though it was like, you know, late in the evening, it was still way too hot to properly do a race there. Apparently ticket sales weren't even that good. No, apparently ticket sales was like lowest attendance of any Formula One race this year so far. The car cost like 10 million dollars and still no AC. I think they're a little more than that, Tazator. No AC though. But yeah, I actually felt bad for the guys. Like if you look at photos and whatnot of them like after the race, it, it was properly messed up. Like, if there's a little bit of rain on the road, on the, on the track, right? The uh, FIA, like, the, the, the people in charge of the race, they basically shut everything down and they're, like, trying to, you know... And these guys are literally passing out in, to in, in corners and they are still uh, not doing well. Yeah, Lance Troll said that everything was blurry in the last 25 to 30 laps, and that he was basically passing out in all the high-speed corners. That's kind of crazy, man. Like, two of the guys not get out of their car properly at the end of the race. So they had to be, like, helped out of their cars because they just couldn't stand up anymore. Completely dehydrated, just crazy stuff. Apparently, the temperature in the cockpit was like 50 plus degrees Celsius for like an hour and a half while pulling all the G-forces and... Kind of crazy. Kind of nuts. Hope they, uh, yeah, maybe come back in Qatar uh, at the end of the season or something, but... Not in October. Seems like a bad idea. Yeah, apparently some of them fainted in the ambulance or like the, the health center thing afterwards. Kind of nuts, man. Yeah, but obviously, the, like, they bring water inside the car. But obviously, if the seat is 50 plus degrees Celsius, the water is also going to heat up. So you're basically just sitting there in a sauna the entire time. No, they're also wearing, like, full-on balaclavas and fireproof suits and the whole thing. 
actually kind of nuts. Actually kind of crazy that, you know, this happened the way it did. Like, it could have, like, nobody died, but it could have easily happened. Somebody could have crashed with, like, 300, like, 300 plus kilometers an hour, fainting in the seat. Just, it could have been an absolute disaster. Like, nothing bad happened, and watching the race, it wasn't particularly obvious that, you know, it was that bad. But looking back at it, I really hope they, uh, they decide to make some changes, because... Honestly, such a mess. Yeah, these guys are all very fit, right? Like, they're, uh... Yeah! I saw that! You got a couple of guys driving really fast, holding their hands like that on the straight, above the cockpit's edge. Just to try and cool down their hands a little bit. So these guys are going like 350 kilometers an hour. They're like... <laughs> Insane. Yeah, they're opening their visor and they get sand in. Because, you know, it's still a fucking desert. Because, you know, it's still a fucking... Desert? Ay, ay, ay. You're like, fuck, I'm so hot, I'm gonna open it, and then you have. You're like, fuck, I'm. You're like, fuck. Fuck, I'm. You're like, fuck, I'm. I'm so hot, I'm gonna open it, then you have sand in your eyes? <sighs> it really sounds awful. Yeah, to watch, but, um... And then so many of the guys... ...also got in trouble, because they... They got, like, all kinds of penalties, because they drove over the track limits. But when you think about it, these guys are going super fast. Apparently, some of them are not getting proper vision anymore. And then they, they get punished by like five seconds after they exceed certain track limits multiple times. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually insane, man. Yeah, I can't I can't watch that on stream, but yeah, that video of Gape is a pretty good example. Just throw buckets of ice water? So that's what that's what uh, Fernando Alonso asked. Like he reported over the radio that his seat was too hot. And he asked if they could pour water over him at the next pit stop. And they couldn't. Apparently there's some sort of safety regulation that doesn't allow them to do that. Uh, but he, he asked if they could, like, help him out in some way. Yeah. 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 Kinda crazy, though. Like, the commentator... What in a very hot race. Like, the commentator... One of the commentators... I'm forgetting his name right now. But a, uh, he used to drive Formula 1. And he mentioned that apparently he drove a very hot race back in the day. And apparently he literally burnt his ass to the point where he like had burn marks on his ass. And apparently what he did, and I thought this was kind of funny, is he took a picture of it and then he emailed it to everybody at the factory to let them know that maybe it's fun to design a car like that, but it's not practical for the driver. Cold heart, yes, that's it. Actually insane though, dude. That's crazy. Like if it's that hot that you literally get burns on your ass after you drive for an hour and a half like it's a fun story now but like that is actually insane yeah it's all weight re reductions it's all weight reductions a lot of those guys are also very skinny right because they they just like yeah the, the lighter you are the better it is especially uh you know a lot of them come from karting days as well and in carts a like, especially, the, the, the less weight, the better, because the cart doesn't weigh that much. Obviously, these Formula 1 cars are very heavy, but these guys are strong and skinny. Yeah. Yeah, they're like... Yeah, most of them are around 70-ish kilos. A little heavier, some a little lighter, but... Yeah, I, dude, I saw that. When Logan Sargent stepped out of his car, like, there was literally water coming... out. Like, somehow... Outside, it's also like I, I don't know how fire safety suits work, but if the fire like the, the the fire prevention suit, whatever, right? Those things they wear is completely drenched. There is no way it's gonna work properly anymore either. There's no way. Kind of nuts. Yeah. yeah, they do have very uh, muscular necks. That's true. It may work better. I don't think it does.
You save on fuel, tires, brakes, and time. Yeah, you you save on everything. Like <laughs> that's the only thing, right? So they they're not yeah they're not gonna do active cooling solutions unless it's mandated by the sport. Like that could also be a thing that like they create a mandate for it, and then suddenly you know, if the seat temperature may not exceed 40 degrees Celsius or something stupid, like they they could come up with solutions for it, but it would have to be mandated by the people that come up with the rules. The teams themselves are not going to do that sort of stuff. Cooled seats. Yeah, there are solutions for it, of course, but... Everybody has to do it or nobody, exactly. Yeah, nuts. What's up, my love? What <sighs> side, sis? There are... Uh, you gave an... And it's, like, I don't know, I seem to be relatively functioning. Anything. Yeah, you're very right. I'm very specialized thing. Power braking fluid. Told him. Good news. Turns out I just need more power steering fluid. Power steering. Assuming this is a thing, guys in the chat. I have a baseline. Right away. I'll take that as a compliment. I'll yes. Them. Was that like a I mean, it's kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's. Kinda Great videos exactly like this, which I think is really funny. And this real quick. It's gonna be kind of tricky. I saw a great TikTok about this exact thing some time ago. These are the absolute worst roads you've ever seen. Really? TikTok about this exact thing some time ago. I think I may have already shown this on stream, but I thought it was really funny. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna... It's gonna be kind of tricky. Beethoven, Symphony number five. First reaction. Let's get. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta open. Troopers in 1808 when Beethoven. You troopers in 1808 when Beethoven dropped. Beethoven, Symphony number five. First reaction. Let's get into it. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I already know this is gonna go hard. I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself. You know what I'm saying? Yes! Beethoven, Symphony. This guy has a lot of great videos exactly like this, which I think is really funny. Um. Oh, he doesn't have any pinned ones? There's a couple that probably have way more views than others. I came across a bunch of these randomly. Oh my god, he's got a lot. Oh my god, that was great. Yeah, this guy has a bunch of good stuff. Hold up, let me see if I can find it real quick. It's kind of complex. Dvorak, I, a random video that I posted. 1.4 million video. <laughs> 1.4 million views. <laughs> Every dude with a podcast. Can I blow your mind real quick? Okay, so the word dinosaur comes from... <laughs> Chris is leaving because we've been fighting about this all day. Go. So the word dinosaur comes from two Greek words, okay? Deinos, which means terrible, and saros, which means lizard, okay? Now, dinosaurs lived hundreds of millions of years ago, apparently. And the Greek language is only 5,000 years old. Let that sink in. So either there were Greek people around 100 million years ago, or, or there were dinosaurs 5,000 years ago. Literally every dude with a podcast. Literally any dude with a podcast. <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> it's so funny. There's a lot of dumb podcasts out there, guys. Yeah. YouTubers in 1783 reacting to Mozart's latest single. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was not ready for that. Did y'all hear that shit? Y'all can't tell me Bach is better. Did y'all hear that shit? Shit. Y'all can't tell me Bach is better. Vivaldi, uh, fucking Handel, uh, fucking, uh, fucking, fucking.
Handel, Beethoven, all y'all motherfuckers. All y'all motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers. Sit down. The king is back. Come on, man. Do you hear that shit? Do you hear that shit? That's crazy. Okay, let's go. For some reason, I love that. That's so funny to me. You never considered that the ancient Greeks may have time tra traveled? I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Ah, time travel is not something that he probably came up with. Time travel is not something that he probably came up with. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Beethoven just dropped, bro. Yeah, I just saw it. Play it. Play it. Hurry up. He don't miss, he don't miss! Oh, oh shit, Beethoven just dropped, bro. Yeah, I just saw- Oh shit! <laughs> I like that, I like that! Oh shit! <laughs> I like that, I like that! Oh shit! I like that, I like that! Okay! He don't miss! miss. <laughs> There's some funny shit on TikTok. <laughs> funny shit. There's some funny shit. Funny shit on TikTok. Funny shit on TikTok, man. That's so good. <laughs> he don't miss. So good. Greeks couldn't have possibly discovered dinosaur remains at any point before other modern call. I don't think it was that serious. Mm -mm -mm. The plot thickens. If centaurs aren't real, then how? The plot thickens. If centaurs aren't real, then how come they filmed them in the Harry Potter movies? They filmed them if they don't exist yet. Okay, they invented them. Whoa, that's a possibility. A tropical garden of heavy pollution, oil runout. Question is, do you plan in advance? Stat smash. Appreciate you. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the oil towers. Maybe that's what I should have done. Apparently, it seems similar. Usually, when I stream, I know. Why is it different? Sorry, I don't mean to make myself look. Immediately, like to have shame, but not to do anything about. Basically, nine grandmasters. I don't remember any of these people from the fairy tale. Because there's a ton of characters in the story. Like it was just a. a Think about it. It's an old fable for less grim. Damn, dude. That's a fuck. He's running the program of the gods. To be on Twitch. I did high school and to, uh, to the liquor store. They ID'd me. I know. I was like, oh shit, okay. No, in the Netherlands, uh, you could buy wine when you were sick. Also in the pub, yes. But they're very strict on it. And they don't look very dangerous. I already had that one. Dude, 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 dude. You scared me! I fight you in a court. I would prefer not f You know if I am invulnerable right now? Meaning that you can f a criminal group of four slayers. Rabbit Brotherhood? I haven't unlocked any shortcuts or anything. This game is copying World of Warcraft? True, dude. I prefer not find a safe- Oh, <laughs> going up the elevator. Let's see. Press the button. Okay. Let's see. Going up the elevator. Oh. oh. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 
Fuck, dude. Dude, <sighs> that is so frustrating. I fell off the elevator. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out if Bearman respawns. I don't even know if I'm that far. I feel like I just had to like walk very carefully. And there's a load of enemies along the way, but I'm gonna just yeah put my five and a half thousand souls on the on the line. My ergo, Bearman. Oh, Bearman does respawn. I thought you were like a little mini boss mate. I would prefer if you don't get me stuck in a corner, though. I, I, you know, don't want to be a dick about it or whatever. Okay, so we go around over here. He'll stop chasing me, I'm sure, at some point. Maybe I wasn't even that far out. Okay, I guess I'll... Yeah, this guy, this guy has a lot more... Exactly did I die. Okay. And this is the house. I think I'm just gonna drop down and... Okay. This place is a bit of a maze, but I've made my way back. That wasn't actually so bad. It really does feel like a From Software game. It really does. This whole area feels just like it. Mate, dying to a random low-level enemy would also be very bloodborne -y. Okay, I'll just go to where this elevator single-player game. I kind of, you know, like in regular, is it in his cane? It's exactly like fucking Bloodborne and... Wait, 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 this is the original, oh yeah, dude, it is exactly, that's awesome, not that long ago, available that, driver Bugatti, that was a few streams ago, full blue, come on, assuming if you, good, got my ergo back, some of it anyways, Frank. Please wax one. I am from. Here we go. Please, really? I don't want to be here. Yeah, on Orlando. Exactly. Oh, you can reach me from there. For my health. So when he hits you, I was doing acid over here, apparently. Uh, fighting this guy up here looks like. Excellent. I don't want to talk about it. Is it to say that are not? Are you here to save me? Yeah. Those grand exhibition jerks. Talk about it. I'm so in distress. Just add the man who's relatively unknown. Yeah, it's definitely not for everybody. Oh no no no! Oh. Okay. I'll continue here tomorrow. Continue the concept. At least. You're not a fidget spinner. What's over here? Okay, that's it. That's it. I I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go. The animation ended, dude. Kinda rude, not gonna lie. Really lovely to see a dude. An animation for confirmed. Sick. It's definitely not for everybody. I oh no no no! Oh, really like these ty types of games? You don't really like these types. How did this game just suddenly appear out of nowhere from a relatively unknown company? This game is also good, dude. Honestly, this game is really sick. Remember you as well! Enemy design in this game is also good, dude. Honestly, this game is really sick. How did this game- Borny. How did this game just suddenly appear out of nowhere from a relatively unknown- No, 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 no! No, no, no! Fuck me. No, no, no! Fuck me. Me. Don't don't kill me. Wi-Fi connector, man. You don't really like these ty types of games, but yeah, it's definitely not for everybody. I personally love pain. Oh jeez. Oh no no no. <sighs> okay. I'll continue here. Some souls. Should I go loot him? I think I should go loot him because I'm never gonna find him tomorrow. Also, I kind of want to check out how my shortcut works. So much greed. I was trying to heal, guys. 
I wasn't even being greedy. Tomorrow. So much greed? I was trying to heal, guys. So much greed? I was trying to I wasn't even being greedy. My soul's gone. Yeah, what I like about this game, though, is that... Kill you. Confirmed. Oh yeah, there was a chest over here. True. Confirmed. 666 damage. To kill you. I think there's a shortcut over here somewhere. What is this? Ow. I should probably teleport. 660. Confirmed. I'm the devil. Oh yeah, there was a chest over here. True. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna be stuck in an animation for a minute. That is mean. Okay, that's it. That's it. I, I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. He attacked me right as the animation ended, dude. Kind of rude. Not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, I stream pretty much every single day. I'll be back again tomorrow. It's really only a few days, right? Mr. Bezos, listen. I'm using ammo. How do you fight? How do I fight? Right, I can't stream tomorrow. But... Hey, what? I think like only a few days, right? So if it's supposed to start today, how long does it last, shy guy? Does it? So if it's supposed to start today, I think like only a few days. I am afraid I can't stream tomorrow. But... Hey, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, my controller's. Not I am afraid I can't stream tomorrow, but... Hey, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, my controller's not working! No! It's disconnected! How do you fight? How do I fight with mouse and keyboard? This would be an excellent time to... Okay. I guess my batteries have run out? I hope my batteries have run out? I'm using Amazon batteries, chat. I'm Jeffrey after today's stream, if it doesn't work. I'm just saying. Mr. Bezos, listen, buddy, because he's personally in charge of every single one of these batteries, no? Loco, don't shit talk Bezos on his own. I'm just holding him a counter situ- Ah, there you go. It works again. Never mind, guys. Loco, don't shit talk Bezos on his own platform. Loco, don't shit talk- Loco, don't shit talk- Shit talk- Shit talk- Shit talk- Shit talk- Shit talk- Bezos. Loco, don't shit talk Bezos on his own platform. I'm just holding him accountable. <sighs> Until the end of September. Yeah. Yo. The and it doesn't really work. Using. The thing is, I like the question on average. It's your goal. You'd have to have. Alright. I'm gonna run and. Maybe they just speak English. Does he speak Dutch? There's treats on the chair, dude. You wanna have Lenny over? There's treats on the chair, dude. Does he speak Dutch? Or English? <laughs> He's sitting there the whole time! It's pretty much the entire time, guys. Maybe they are... Perfect. Here too. Play scary game. Alright. I'm gonna... Over here too. Alright. Shit. There he is. Perfect. Nice. They're definitely going to leave. Yeah, they're def. They're definitely going to leave. Yeah, they're def. Very nice. Leave. Yeah, they're definitely going. Dude. Dutch or English? 
He's sitting there the whole time! Bro, what? I've been talking Dutch to- Well that- I've been talking Dutch to my- Well that was weird. I've been talking Dutch to my cats pretty much the entire- Maybe they are- Maybe they're English. Maybe they just speak English. My Russian's not very good. Well, actually, they're Siberian cats. Happened? I, I came into the room and I said, yo, there's two more treats on the chair. Toby must have been sitting underneath the chair for like a minute. And as I say it... They're definitely going to leave. Yeah. Does he speak Dutch? Or- There's treats on the chair, dude. Does he speak Dutch? They're definitely going to leave. Yeah, they're definitely- Hello. Shit talk Bezos on his own platform. We can stop panicking. The whole time- No. What happened? I- I came into the room and I said, yo, there's two more treats. Toby must have been sitting underneath the chair for like a minute, and as I say it, he climbs on top of the top of the chair to eat the treats. Ay ay ay. Guys, by the way, for sticking around. Who left? Screw you, get No, 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 no. Must to be yesterday? Speak up. Commenter. Right now. Although I am. I just have to not take damage. Hug! Does my shield stop your hug? Easy for. The eye of the storm is. Don't fucking kill steal me, uh, Harvey. Harvey's. I'm assuming. Oh. For me to teleport back. Mm-mm. Is my steering? It's an insta death. I like uh, already hooked up, and then my dude starts. Also in the list. No, no, no. Ah, no. My character is a real boy. His nose does not get bigger. That. Tried to scam me for your password. Jeez. Gosh, don't. <laughs> I am not. I let the voices in my head. <laughs> um, I like how I lean close. I saw you. Hello. Hey, thank you, though, guys. Hello. I saw you. Um, I like how I lean closer to my monitor, as if I'm. I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so fucking fucking. Stupid. Anyways, it really did seem like there was a boss over here because it went down. All right, I guess we'll go this way. What? <laughs> okay, the game did not want me to go that way. Fair enough. I had to give it a try. You were thinking about it. I think we were all curious. Okay. I let the voices in my head win this time. Jump, Loco. Do it. No, I don't. I mean, it feels like a bad. Don't just do it, fucking. Everybody does. Just do it, fucking. Don't just do it, fucking. Everybody does it. 
Yeah, that was for science. I was just checking if there's fall damage. Yeah, there's fall damage in real life. He says, I love damage in real life. Motlesis is here, guys. He says, I love once more. Aw. Love you too, Motlesis. I think he meant live, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, this game is on Game Pass. Game Pass, I can... Yeah. It's a shiny, though. I want to get the... I thought... There's a shiny though. I want to get the shiny. There's a shiny though. I want to get the shiny. <laughs> I thought it was like a slide. Just jumped in there like I was on a. I don't know. Like I was on a in a rush. We haven't found a record yet today. So wait, am I supposed to go through? Well, I definitely run across without. Yeah, that was amazing, what was this? Oh! That was nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Even decay? I really wanna get that shiny. It's, 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 it, it's, it wants me to loot it. Cat dust? Cat dust? Cat dust. In a bottle. Temporarily reduces presence. Okay. Oh! Okay. A special dust that reduces your presence like a cat. Aww. My cats can definitely pretend like they don't exist. They're very sneaky. How are your cats doing, by the way, Mutless? I haven't heard about them in a while. Got a couple of uh, kittens a few months ago. Or a few months ago? Maybe not even a few months. Hope they're doing well. They were cute. We got rid of that chair. Yeah, we got rid of my hit points? Really? Furniture, skin, multiple of cats in the past. <gasps> what? One of them jumped and clung on its full claws to just run it on stream, huh? but. But with gun actually Right away! No! <laughs> Corporate vice president of Xbox said this about StarCraft yesterday. Uh, I posted about it on Twitter. Yeah, they admitted to Star. <sighs> Let me pull up the video. Uh, the StarCraft universe. There's a lot of copium again going on. This? This was apparently last night at some... There's a lot of copium again going on in the StarCraft universe now. I mean, the StarCraft people in general love the copium and the hopium and everything in between. <sighs> Let me put. Uh, I posted about it on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, they admitted to StarCraft's existence. That's a step forward, precisely. Corporate vice president of Xbox said this about third StarCraft yesterday. First party title or third party's title, is there any series or game that you want to see have a revival? You go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, not me so much, but especially since I've been here this week, a lot of fans and I've had a lot Low of people public. ask me in Ryan! Thank you for the reset. So, she acknowledges the existence of StarCraft, chat. That's all. That was the whole video, basically. Oh, I know a lot of you want that, which is what's most important. So, uh, it'll be fun to see if that's something that we StarCraft 3 confirmed, dude. There it is. Yeah. She said the word StarCraft. That's it, man. That's gotta be it. She definitely, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's gonna single-handedly run that. I'm sure. Hey, thank you very much, Ryan. StarCraft 2 reforged. No! Don't you dare say the words StarCraft Reforged. Yo, Lady with Broom is insane, man. Okay, I'm gonna try my new ability. Hit me. Hit me, Lady, one more. How long does this thing take to charge? Oh, oh, okay, it's got a little progress bar. Okay, I didn't realize that it had a little progress bar. Hey, you sh Smile. My impression, I think it was pretty good. Half-Life 3 StarCraft Edition confirmed. I do really like StarCraft. Do you guys... Like, do you, do you guys know that? I've a couple of times. I enjoyed it. Yeah, some people call me a nerd because of it. 
Like, playing video games as an adult? I mean, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't dare to tell my parents about it, because, you know, it might take me out of their wills, but I have played StarCraft in my day. On Psycho, 80 months. Children have a ah! Cut their heads off. Starcraft? Oh well, I don't play that vice president at Xbox. That's a long time. You're only here to watch you play Starcraft? Oh well, I I don't play that game. Anymore. The vice president at thing that needs this. Children. Cut their heads off! Ha! Ah. Children have a lot of hit points, dude. I- Oh god, there's a whole crew of them! A swarm! A gaggle! A murder! A parliament! Kill them, man. Get rid of them. Is it in the West Side Story? I don't think it's in the West Side Story. A lot of HP. Don't get staggered by my attacks either. God. Hey, by the way, Bunny, did you watch the end of yesterday's stream by? It's a bit dangerous in this game. A wearing different. Maybe I can wear a bunny mask by the end. Special report? Would I grab? I think she's one of those sir here. Whoa. You know what I mean? I feel like she does. Apparently, he does not say, It's -a me, Mario. Apparently, that's not what he says. Let me get this right. I tell you guys what I learned about Mario and what he says. He says. Hold up, let me get this right. Let me get. Let me get this right before I mess it up. Apparently, he does not say, It's -a me, Mario. Apparently, that's not what he says. What he actually says, it's. It's -a me, Mario. Which means Super Mario in Japanese. I don't know if this is true, but I, for as long as I've been around for, have always assumed he says, It's, it's -a me, Mario. But he says, Itsumi, Mario, which means Super Mario. He literally says the name of the game. I know I'm... Maybe everybody knew this. I do what I want. It's actually brilliant, though. That's so clever. Itsumi, Mario. That's so good. That's so clever. According to a TikTok user, well, TikTok is where I get all my scientific uh, facts. TikTok is one of the most reliable sources on the internet. If I read anything on the internet, it better be on TikTok. This is like the, yeah, new according to a Facebook user, exactly. Nowadays, nobody posts on Facebook anymore, so you can't really, you know, there's no such thing as according to a Facebook user. Is there anybody in the chat that speaks Japanese? Does it actually sound like he says Super Mario in the Japanese language? Memory is Japanese, yeah. The voice of Mario did a three minute video on this. Go. I've been the voice of Mario for 26 years. Now moving on to Luigi. Now moving on to Luigi. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so creepy, dude. Luigi two, Luigi number one. Ha ha. Most replayed and part. Hold up. And so I, I, I love that. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I love sharing things too. I go to meet uh, Mario fans and uh, I hear the most wonderful thing. You know, the, you're the voice of my childhood. Or I, you know, I used to play with my dad. Now I'm playing with my kids, you know, and we just, it's a way our family comes together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha! Ah, pretty good. Ah, this brings back the memories. Mamma mia. 
Why does he look exactly like I would have imagined the voice actor of Mario to look like? I don't know why. You just have fun, you know? That's my mantra for life. Come on, let's go. Let's have more fun. Bye bye. See you in my games. Woohoo! <laughs> That's so funny. Charles Martinet? I was saying, the United States of America. America. Very nice. I do. You hear that in the distance, Chet? You, you heard it? It's far away, but I could notice it. He retired. Yeah, apparently so. Soon he will have a uh, different exit. Soon he will have like a Jamaican exit or something. Look, uh, hold on, I'm standing and saluting. Very nice. The Nintendo Ninjas. God, okay, cash. Okay. Hey, Loco, what are Dutch people really proud of? Hey, Loco, what are Dutch people really proud of? I don't know. What are Dutch people really proud of? What are we really proud of, guys? Once upon a time conquering the world. Yeah! Our war against the ocean. Yeah! What are we collectively really proud of, though? These things are definitely criticized. Because a lot of these things are definitely criticized. Yeah, the Netherlands did start up the, you know, current version of the stock market and that sort of stuff. The first proper edition of companies and whatnot, but there's also a lot of weird stuff there. So a lot of weird stuff going on there. Yeah, not being Belgium. I think the the one thing all Dutch people are in agreement with that we are most proud of is letting the Belgians be independent. I think that's the greatest moment in Dutch history. Yeah, yeah, when we finally, yeah, when we just let them, yeah, hang out by themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all of Europe. That's all of Europe. The color orange. I don't know, what is, is there one thing that everybody... What is the Netherlands most proud? Are the Dutch proud to be Dutch? That's a strange question in my head for some reason. I don't know, we should ask B. Yeah. What are the Dutch people most proud of? Here we go. Bing, we can just we can just bing it, chat. If you're not a patriot, loco, definitely not. This is gonna, yeah. Let's see. Our allies are being attacked. What are the Dutch people most proud of? Let's let's have a look. What does what does Bing come up with? Our According to the web, the Dutch people are most proud of their country's progressiveness on social and moral issues. Such as LGBTIQ rights, soft drugs, euthanasia, freedom of speech, yeah. They are also proud of their knowledge of water management, commercial spirit, sporting achievements, royal family, questionable on that one, and social security. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's go, euthanasia, woo! Wait, mm, mm, hold up, that's, mm. Being proud of that though is, yeah, is an interesting one. Netherlands is pretty cool. I think the Netherlands is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Dutch people like to complain a lot. I guess that goes for every country around the world. Oh. I got... I think the Netherlands is a pretty cool country. Yeah, obviously, I don't think there's a country out there where everybody... America? Oh yeah, yeah, America is flawless. Everybody is called the United States. Because it's America? But we've got plenty of... Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah North Korea. The Vatican definitely does not get criticized. This is in accordance with... Bro, I get it. Let's chat and type in the chat that I need to open the door. A lot of my friends call me Masturbator. Hero weapon is finally in my hands. I'm walking around with a lot of souls here. Hey, buddy. I knew you'd do it. I had a feeling you'd be the perfect bait. I got what I wanted thanks to you. 
The last hero weapon is finally in my hands. I knew where it was, but I didn't dare lay my hands on it. The swamp is too dangerous. Someday soon, you'll see. You have my thanks. And you've earned a nickname. Alidoro's best bait. Nice! See you at the hotel. A lot of my friends call me Master Baiter, but this might even be better. Thank you, man. Okay, so he's gonna be back at the hotel. Yeah. A lot of people to talk to at the hotel. We'll go back to... I might do a playthrough at some point, definitely would be fun. Yeah, maybe do like a dexterity playthrough rather than... I can also... Uh, here, he was on a bit of an adventure, but I he's back at the hotel the now. Last treasure, thank you. Me, so that's good. I need to go talk to this man over here. He was on a bit of an adventure, but I he's back at the hotel the now. last treasure thanks to you. The saber. It'll always remind me of the rascal who stole it, then fell into the nest. I, I tried to save him, but uh, I failed. Let the punishment fit the crime, I say. <laughs> hey, the cat and is over here. What? Can I get the cat? He wants oh, yeah. Game of the year. Game of the year. It was hissing at me and everything, man. Now that I'm a real... Yeah. A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Lucky you don't even pet your own Show cats. me I that you're worthy cats all to the move. time, dude. To the point where they are like, no, I don't. Or they, they mess with me all the time. The two dragon sword. This is a technique weapon. Um, probably very good. But I'm not running a technique based build. This is also uh, you can get so fury attack. What it says? That might be it. efficient. Yes, no. Let's get this done fast and uh, move the ones from my chest. I uh, didn't get anything out of my. I slept pretty well last night, which I think is probably the main reason why. But anyways, uh, should be back to. Uh, should get my stitch week and a half or so. From should get my stitches out in about. I'll be back pretty soon. But it makes perfect sense, so. When you see that the ghosts are out of position, Blinding Cloud goes out on the siege tanks. Pretty stress free. But I have another one. Rerun? When you're already running a bear. Yeah, they don't use land. 